Hi there, I'm Michael from Virtual Shape Research and I'd like to show you some functions of our new upcoming Rhino plugin Shape Modeling 1.0. Our plugin will have a toolbar with several functions. The ones I will use in this video are Sketch Dynamic Curve and Sketch Curve Point by Point, the Patch from Curves function and our Dynamic Modeling. So what we have here is a mesh of a car. Let's say I want to create the windshield as a surface with a low degree so I can easily modify it later if I want to. I'm changing to a standard view for that and I'm starting with a sketch curve point by point function as it is difficult to draw longer curves dynamically. The first thing I'm doing when having started the function is choosing my projection target because I want my curve to be created on the mesh. As you can see, the option active is automatically switched on, as it is likely that you want that after having selected a projection target. I start to create my curve by left-clicking on the mesh on points where I want my curve to pass through. To finish the curve, I use the right mouse button. To get connected curves, I activate the Snap Curve Ends option. This works as a snap on curve ends within a certain radius, which can be defined in the tolerance field of this window. If I'm not 100% satisfied with the shape I've created, I can use the local undo of this function. This local undo is useful because you only have one undo step in Rhino after you've finished the creation of your curves. If you want one undo step per created curve, just use OK after each curve and restart the function after that. OK, as my last curve is only a short one, I will create it with the dynamic sketch function. Selecting my projection target again. To dynamically sketch a curve, I keep my left mouse button pressed and the function approximates a curve along my way. As you can see, my curve is a little bit too short, so I'm using the over sketch option to modify the curve I've just created. When the option is active and my new curve is close to an existing one, instead of creating a new curve, the existing one is modified. I will now use these created curves as input for my patch from curves function. Let's say I'm not really satisfied with the control point flow. For example, the result is a little bit wavy on this side. Or here. So I will cancel this and modify the input curves to get a better result. Starting dynamic modeling, you see I also got the projection option here. I'm selecting the mesh. Now, during my modeling, the curve stays projected on the mesh. I am also modifying the curve below, arranging the control points a bit more evenly. Ok, I'm creating my surface again. This time I'm also using the projection option being available in this function to ensure my whole surface and not just the edges is close to the mesh. Alright, and this is the result. To check the final distance of my surface to the mesh, I am using the deviation analysis of the shape analysis toolbar. 
I'm selecting the surface and the mesh as reference and I'm increasing the number of graphs and points to get a more precise result. You can see that the final result is only a tenth of a millimeter away from the mesh. And this is it for this video. If you got comments or suggestions about the functions you've seen, please let us know and thank you for watching.